discuss another important topic that is custom connectors in power apps so as you all are aware one or the other day we'll keep hearing this term called custom connectors in power platform right so today let's see how better we can make it of use and uh, create one such uh, custom connector to consume an api with the help of api key and uh, make it of use in our power apps okay so before going ahead i just wanted to uh, put more insight when and where we get a requirement and uh, we decide to create a custom connector okay so custom connectors mostly uh, we use whenever we want to consume an api right so api where in which api as we all are aware it will be masked with some of uh, the securities for example oauth is the one or else api key is the one or else basic credentials also it will be masked with or there will be no authentication that is it can be open api okay so today let's see one such connector that is uh, open api key how we are utilizing it and with which how we are fetching and consuming this api to fetch desired results from that api okay so as you can see my screen i'm into power platform studio and from here i'll navigate to custom connectors and uh, for that we have to click on more and discover all and here if you scroll below here you will be able to see the custom connectors okay if you want we can pin it as well so that it should not go away and we can see it over here all the time okay so if you guys if you can see here we are into custom connectors window okay as you can see i don't have any custom connector currently so i can go ahead and create a new connector custom connector here so if you see in this drop down we have multiple options to create a custom connector right one is creating from the scratch that is blank next is creating from azure service and rest all are import right import from open api or postman or github right so all this import options whenever we try to import any file or a postman collection right basically what it will do is it will create the entire structure or it will create you the entire configuration to create a custom connector for you like you don't have to do two three steps whenever you're consuming this or importing a file okay so this requirements will likely come from the client and you will have this file or postman collection uh, in handy with you so that you can directly import and you can create your custom connector okay and same goes with azure service as well here you have to just uh, uh, indicate your azure service in a parameter and it will consume the entire uh, configuration for you so for us we'll uh, see one such custom connector from creating by creating from the blank so that we'll understand each and every step for creating a custom connector okay so i'm clicking on create from blank and i'll name my custom connector as weather forecast okay so as my name says weather forecast uh, here i'm going to uh, show you the weather forecast of different different cities what are we whatever we gonna provide it for right that means our api should search that specific cities temperature for us and it should display in our uh, power apps okay so for that let's explore our api first <clears throat> if you can see my screen this is one of the url that is whether api.com okay if you want you can also explore this and you can sign up over here it's uh free of uh, there will be a trial license a, a trial account created for you and you can also consume this api okay so i have already signed it up if you can see this is how it will look whenever you sign up okay so as you can see here is my api key ready made available for me it has created whenever i signed up okay it says trial lens so and so okay so there will be an option here that is called uh, analytics and there is some options called uh, you know api explorer swagger tool okay so i'm going to the api explorer here in the tools if you see here here you can i'm able to see there are many things right this says your api key is this so and so protocol json and this will be my value right so let's go here from the fresh and i'm going to give my api key that is present right here okay and city i'll keep it as london for now okay and i'll say, say it as show response 
okay if you see my api has run successfully and these are the headers and this is the response body provided so in the response if you can see this is the temperature which it is returning for right 2.9 and 26.8 is my Fahrenheit temperature okay this is what i want to display in my power apps this parameter okay so this is basically an open api that runs with the api key and whenever we pass our key that is this one to it it fetches me the results and it gives the response in a json format like this right london and city from the country also it mentions and here it shows me the temperature what it is currently in london okay so let's see how we can create a custom connector and directly utilize this api in our power apps so i'm going to my power apps my initial thing is uh, general settings okay here we can upload an icon for our custom connector whatever we want we can upload it over here based on our needs and uh, we can change the icon back and background color as well description right and coming to the host host if i go to my this one host will be my if you see in the response whatever the response it gave me this will be my host right api dot weather api dot com so i'm going to provide this here and i'm gonna say next that is next step is security if you can see all the steps are there over here so i'm going to the security so this is where i was talking about the security of an api right one is no authentication basic authentication api key and oauth 2.0 so oauth 2.0 will be utilizing client id and client secret here right we have to provide our client ID client secret that will come up when we are registering our application in azure ad right so api key is something we're gonna explore now no authentication means we don't need any authentication here uh, and basic authentication that will be our user credentials okay so i'm going to the api key here i'll give my par parameter label as a key and parameter name itself as key okay location as header okay so now i'm going to so here basically we have to define our authentication type okay and uh, if whatever the label you want to give you can give it over here and i'm going to the next that is definition now so this is where we have to create uh, our uh, definition like what we need to uh, create it for for example this is my action right so i'm going to name my action over here as if you see this is my uh, action name so i'll say get weather for cast i'll say action is nothing but here we are defining what we actually want to do for example if you want to fetch if you want to insert right with the help of api if you want to perform the CRUD operations that we can define here for example for the first action i'm saying get because i want to fetch my weather forecast for other things i can say a post or update or delete like this i can add right so description also i'll provide the same and operation id also i'll give weather forecast so it, the name changes with the get weather forecast okay now coming to the request so here we have to i'm clicking on import from sample okay so here is nothing but a get method so i'm selecting get here so now i'll see next thing is url we have to provide so url we can provide from our call which is present over here right so i'm going to paste my url from here so if you see key is already i'm providing in the header right so i'll remove the key parameter from here okay key is removed and we don't need this redundant data that is aqi is called to no okay this is my parameter which with, with which i'm passing it right okay okay so now i'm just clicking on import okay as you can see this is q is nothing but my parameter name with where wherein which i am passing all my city names to fetch the weather for right now next comes next step is our response okay if you see this is my response which i received from this api call right so response why response is necessary means due to with the help of this itself will get the response back to power apps so for example whenever we are uh, showing something into the power apps right 
with the help of power automate or something if you want to fetch back to power apps that means you have to configure response in such a way that you know we fetches fetch from the api calls or the connect power automate itself connected itself and will display in our power apps for that we need this response okay i'm going to add default response and in headers i'm going to input all the headers present over here okay i'm adding all the headers here and in response body i'm gonna add the entire response body but from this response body i need only the temperature right so i'm going to remove the location because i don't want to show the location in my response i need only this two parameters right so i'll remove the remaining else parameters if we want the other parameters to be displayed in the power apps we can utilize that but here in my case i need only these two so i'm going to remove this remaining parameters from my response okay so basically you can customize your own body of the response what in all things or parameters you need from here if you need some more parameters from here right conditions or last updated right or region country you can <coughs> customize your uh, body in such a way and you can utilize in your power apps so since i need only these two i'm going to add these two and i'm going to say import okay so this is successfully imported and i'm going to directly test but before going to test if you see there's one more uh, next step that is called uh, ai plugin right so plugin is nothing but here is where you can uh, you know give you a name for your plugin manifest right you can give a name and you know you are able to access your plugin for so usually we we'll, we can use it as plugin itself at other places whenever we create a custom connector okay next comes code in the code we can also customize our custom connector with the help of code as well and if you can yeah whatever code you want you can add our your code over here to run the custom connector if you can see there's something called swagger editor here right if you turn this on you will be able to see entire steps whatever you're adding so for example if you see in the response i have added this to i have consumed these two everything will be listed down here what are, whatever the activities we are performing right everything will be utilized here see api key header everything will be, de be defined here so we can edit the things directly from here as well from swagger editor okay since our, our is straightforward i have added everything and i am directly going to the test right before test going to the test we have to create our connector so i am gonna create my connector Say saving custom connector. Okay, it has been created successfully. So now I'll directly go to the test. So whenever you go create a custom connector and going for going for the test, right? It will ask you to create a connection, right? So basically, this connection is nothing but where we are gonna provide our API key. So I'm going to click on new connection. It will ask is asking for my API key, right? And my API key will be the one that is coming at the first. So I'm going to copy this, to paste it here, say create. So a connection will be created for us like this. Okay. Now we can go back to our custom connectors and uh, edit your own custom connector to see the response, whether it has been working fine or not. Right, we can see the response. It's resulting it or not in the custom connector here itself. So I'm going to edit this, going to test. The connection is already present here. So here I can type anything, Paris. Right. I'm gonna say test operation. If you see it ran successfully and it gave me a temperature of Paris. Okay. So now let's see how we can consume this in power apps. Okay so i'm opening one of my power apps that has already been created okay and let's see how we can integrate into the power applications so opening in the edit mode
okay so in the new screen so before go, uh, consuming that uh, or integrating the custom connector we have to add it to the data source so you can go to add data and here you can search our custom connector that is weather forecast if you see here we can see our custom connector so when if we give that icon there that icon will be appearing over here as well so with the help of connection which we found it's connected over here for us right so now i'm going to insert one combo box for myself okay and one label to show the temperature okay so in the combo box i'm going to give few of the cities customized cities which i want for example paris for example london okay and a uh, delhi right so either but something like this okay i have given the four parameters or uh, four uh, inputs to this particular combo box and i am going to turn off this allow multiple selection okay so now uh, in this i want to see the temperature right so here we have to add our <coughs> custom connector that is weather forecast so if you can see as soon as i type the weather forecast it is giving giving me my action name right as you can see we have defined uh, our action here in definition that is get weather forecast right so it lists that same over here whenever i'm going to add okay get weather forecast so as soon as i add it it's by default showing me the parameter right that q parameter with where we are adding entering our city names right so i can directly select this okay so now here i'm gonna in link this to the combo box which i added because whatever uh, cities i'm going to select is from this drop down right so i'm going to say combo box one dot selected dot value okay i'm going to close this now what i need from here i need that uh, parameter that is temperature right so it says dot current dot temperature underscore f i want okay dot current dot temperature because uh, dot current and dot temperature underscore f we have taken because in the response it is like this right so whenever we see the response here it's in the json format but it is under the current uh, record right current has another record inside the current we have this so that's the reason we have added it as dot current dot <coughs> temperature so here let's see by running this so i'm going to select london so if you can see it's showing the temperatures and delhi see hyderabad right these are foreign heights and if i go to celsius since i've consumed two, uh, two parameters right so let's go to celsius that is 2.1 minus 2 delhi is minus 15.2 26.1 okay so this is how we can consume our custom connectors i hope uh, guys you have learned custom connector open api with the help of uh, api key which we configured for okay uh, i hope this uh, video finds you well and uh, keep liking my channel thank you